Uh, it was lovely. This was uh, two years um, in preparation because I was awarded the degree in 2020. So to actually be able to gather in person to see all of my longtime friends here in Aberdeen and to be in this university, it was uh, an exciting and very satisfying moment. I have been here, I would say, a half dozen times uh, with conferences and panel study groups, uh, and I've made longtime friends in the department here. Aberdeen is internationally known. Uh, it has a distinguished history, uh, and now I think has a group of uh, wonderfully accomplished and uh, vibrant scholars here. Yeah you should be proud of it. I wanted to join them in the importance of studying the liberal arts, uh, in taking seriously our task as uh, academics, as students, to further the study of everything human and humane. Uh, I, th I think these are difficult times we're in, but probably not more difficult than what people in the past have faced and, and for us to take what we've been given and to use it to explore the world, to um, see it clearly, um, to call forth for uh, deep spiritual and moral uh, values. I think one of the things we lose sight of when we focus on only what is efficient and what is useful is that we lose the depth dimension of life, which is vital to a, a rounded and flourishing culture. Uh, we also lose the sense of the, the rich complexity of human life, and the way in which other cultures share in the questions that we are burdened by. Um, and I, I think that's part of what people in the humane disciplines and in philosophy and classics and the study of art and culture, certainly theology, should contribute.